okay crafters so this is the tool i'm going to be using this pink this beautiful powder pink um tool and um, you guys know this mat that i have on the floor is a measuring mat so if you have more than the um more than the two the yards that you want you can literally measure as you go and while you're prepping your work but um i have exactly what i need on that roll that's 14 yards and um your first step is this here you you have to like prep for your um before you cut it so you have to you know prep your work like i said make sure that uh your two ends are aligned they are like straight because that will give you a better cut and a uh, perfect two two um length so this is the first step i always take so that i can complete my project so like i told you guys this is like 12 yards i want this to be really really big um fluffy and um you guys will see how beautiful it turned out and um i am so excited about this valentine is here so i just decided you know what i'm gonna make a valentine too too and but i don't want to go for the for red because that's the universal color i just wanted to like go for um, something different like a pink then i can incorporate red in in it i don't want the major color to be red basically so guys you can see exactly what i'm doing making sure everything is straight and of course you will need a lot of room when doing this so i had to use my kitchen floor that's what i always use of course when i started i usually use my office but i did not i realized i don't have enough room in my office for this so you will need a lot of room but anyways as you can see i am almost done with this prep so now it's time for me to measure so um you guys know for uh measurements so i am gonna be doing for 40 and 40 it is 20 inches um long that's what i always go for this is a measuring mat so you want to measure from the first from 1 to 20 on your mat so i um you know you guys i always save my little scraps that is left because i can be used for another tutu and of course it can be used for a newborn baby you can use it for um whatever so now i am done with that so my next step is this here so you guys can see your next step is always going to be creating a channel so um when you cut 20 inches long and you are and you're gonna end up folding that into two and that is gonna give you 10 inches and of course when you start sewing make sure you always lock it up like lock up um the end like the first part because that will help keep your tutu in place so locking by you know pressing on your knob so you can go forward and go or go backward and come back forward so that's what i mean so this step is very very important because this is your foundation and while you're doing this you want to make sure it is straight you can see exactly what i'm doing you want to make sure it is straight that way you can get a perfect tutu so you don't have issues so that's what i always do i don't miss this part because when you miss this part honey that is you it's gonna mess you up so you guys know in all my videos on my tutu videos i always tell you your foundation really matters so foundation should be solid in everything you know foundation should be solid because if you have a solid foundation everything is gonna go good with your with whatever you're doing so you guys can tell i have done a lot and um and um of course i am very excited about this here i cannot wait to be done so you guys can see but um for you guys that are confused about this folding um tutu always come the two always come folded so what you need to do is when 
cutting it um, cut it 20 inches and when you get to your table to sew your tutu you fold this folded two into two again and that's going to make it 10 inches does that, does that make any sense so that's what i mean but um i actually have a video that i haven't edited and that is a very very detailed video for you guys that's going to help you guys solve the questions you have in mind on this so i made sure it was a very 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 detailed video and this is also detailed but that one i did not do no voice over i kind of spoke to you guys showed you guys you know um what you need to know as per um the question that i got on my channel was mostly this question on how you fold it how you sew um the ribbon on so that video is going to be coming up very soon but this video too with this video you i'm just doing voiceover so i am still explaining exactly how i explained on that video so i hope you know this really makes sense so as you can see i am just making sure everything is straight because hunter do the work right now and everything is gonna go flawless you cannot skip this step as by arranging it real good because if you don't honey you are going to regret it when you sew your um ribbons because everything is gonna be um looking like it's not gonna be straight basically and when you you don't have it straight it's gonna be like bunched up um um bunch up um uh, two it's not it's just not gonna look right and you're gonna have issues with your ribbon so you want to make sure you get that part so your girl is done with this i'm excited so back on stage to lock it up like i told you in the beginning you lock it up and that is the back one stage and of course we are done so now i am just going to go ahead and um just cut the part that is longer so that um i do not so it don't pick through out of the out of the ribbon Alrighty, so now i am going to get my ribbon so that um we can start um so in the ribbon it is that's my most exciting part so here this is the next day these are the ribbons i am using and this ribbon i bought from amazon the heart ribbons and um i this ribbon actually have wire in it i use in the past i usually take out the wire but now i decided i'm not gonna take my wire off i'm just gonna use it the way it is so it's been working for me i just make sure i cut the wire off and as you guys can see i'm trying to tell you guys the right part to sew so this part here that is you can see this part here that you that is not cut it is folded that's a part you want to be laying on your machine so it's go and the loose part here is gonna be on top of it so that you can control that loose part when you're putting your ribbon so that part is not out of your ribbon basically and of course when sewing your um that they call your ribbon that's part there should always be on your right hand side and um you go ahead and sew so um as you can tell i am using a pink uh what they call it pink um thread so but this was ribbon honestly you do not have to use the same color of ribbon like i always tell you guys to always use a color of ribbon um, th um thread of your ribbon but this first part honestly honestly this first ribbon you do not have to use your first you don't have to use the color of the ribbon why 
because you are gonna lay another ribbon on top of it and that ribbon um, is gonna cover up the thread so in my opinion you don't have to use the same color but the second and third or the second ribbon if you're using just two ribbons that's the one that has to be the color because that's the one that is gonna show is gonna show exactly what um, the color it is gonna show exactly on the tutu so you want to use the same color of the ribbon but the first ribbon that you're putting the one that um, it's gonna be at the bottom you do not but the one at the top you have to if you're using three ribbons and you know that um, the two you don't have to use the same color of the rib the ribbon because you have to be switching ribbons um, switching thread so in my opinion you don't have to change it because it's gonna be covered anyways so when putting your ribbon you guys already know you put the pretty place down pretty place down pretty place down ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> so um, your alignment really matters when putting your ribbon make sure you align it exactly the length of your tutu except if your tutu is shorter than the 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 length that you want then you can use your tutu to get the length that you want so when you're doing this part if your if your your tutu the the tutu that you're trying to sew is uh let's assume it's supposed to be for a uh, four year old and you have you don't have up to 20 inches long i'm sorry 10 inches long what you need to do is um get your tutu on uh, your ribbon and measure it in the way whereby it's gonna get to 20 inches um sorry i'm sorry that is gonna get to 10 inches long when you fold it that's when you get to 10 inches long not 20. 20 is what you cut 10 is what when you fold it so so i am trying to get my alignment right because that is very important so you guys know i always recommend when sewing your um ribbon make sure you are sewing it all the way on your left hand side make sure you do that because you want it to be really really neat and you don't want it to be flapping because if you do it in the middle you're gonna have a flappy um ribbon so you always want to do it at the end so you can have a perfect tutu and of course you guys know that when you start you always get your backward stitch out of the way because that way you are locking it so here i am just making sure that the thread um goes with um with um the the ribbon but like i saw, told you guys you do not have to check it out so you don't have to worry about that so but um just you know get whatever thread you want to use you can use one thread for the you can use the same thread that you use for your tutu to sew the first um ribbon Whew, i cannot speak y'all so i just figured this out some few minutes ago i'm like i don't even need to use the same thread for my ribbon so that's the reason why i'm like i have to let you guys know but when you have the your, your last ribbon that is gonna be on top of it that's the ribbon that you need the the color of the same thread i hope i'm making sense i know i have emphasized on this enough i hope you guys get it <laughs> all right guys so um i'm just gonna check this and make sure it is sewing and you can see the thing is um, sparkling like it's so beautiful i love to check my work because if you don't check your work while you're doing it sometimes the um bobbin bobbin is the the, tr the thread you have at the bottom sometimes you may be out of your your thread down there and if you don't know you keep on sewing honey you are just gonna be wasting your time because that thing is not gonna sew because the the 
the thread the bobbin the thread in the bobbin is not attaching to the thread at the top so it's not gonna sew so you always sometimes want to check to make sure everything is going smoothly and sometimes you will even know when things are not when the bob in the, when the thread is out sometimes you will not know so if you're good with sewing machine you will know when it's out but if you're a beginner always make sure you're checking and um, before you start you want to make sure you have enough thread in your bobbin but anyways guys we are just gonna let this roll so it's gonna keep on going and going and going until it is uh, until i am done so this part here is your sec second let's say third step because your first step is when you're folding the two in order to cut it so that's your first step your second step is you're getting your channel that is very very important in this step here your third step is very important because that way you're grabbing all your loose ends i mean when i mean loose ends um the ends on my right is my loose ends i'm grabbing everything and i'm sewing it for those of you that are confused because i get questions about how you put your your what they call it now your your sew your ribbon on your on your tool all you need to do is that loose ends when you create your channel the loose end is where you sew your ribbon because i get confused on the question that i get some somebody was asking me do i sew sew it at the top I, I i was trying to understand that question i really cannot understand the question but all you need to do is those loose ends you put all four of them together when i mean four the part that is folded i call that two because you can cut that part and it's going to be two so it's folded it's two and the two loose ends two and that makes it four so those loose ends is four in total so and uh, while you are sewing uh, make sure you don't have no thread no dirt oh i don't want to say dirt but no thread in between your two two in between your two because it's gonna when you lock it up with that uh when you uh, sew it it's there forever so that's why i i recommend you always you know if you see thread in between your two make sure you open it up and take it out because honey by the time you are actually done that thread is gonna be there forever so but anyways guys i am um, i hope everything that i'm saying really makes sense and this part here it um when you when you sew your channel the right way this next step here that i'm doing is gonna go flawless so um just make sure your channel is good and when you get this part good your next step also is gonna be easy for you so always get your backward stitch i know i always say that but it's always good to remind you guys backward stitch is very important Oh, look at that, that sparkles. So, I am just going to go ahead and cut this baby. And you know, like I always say, always use your lighter. It's very important. Use your lighter, use your lighter. This lighter is messing up, honey. Or maybe my nails are just too long. I don't know. Something. All right, let's get this crap together. <laughs> All right, guys. So, I am just going to let you guys um watch and of course um before i let you guys watch the next step well i always um have issues with my ribbons folding itself so um it just get folded and always looking oh look at that look at that look at that look at that it is so beautiful y'all so now the next step is gonna be um sewing the last ribbon because i'm only using two ribbons for this beautiful tutu so and that is the radio you see my you see what i was just 
trying to do so i i did not start i did not use a red tool for this valentine tutu but i am using and i am incorporating that in the um ribbon so this is a part that you have to use a red thread it is very important so i have my my thread storage thing and um I actually got this container from a wine um, that we had so I'm like I'm not gonna throw this away I'm gonna use it for my thread so it is working good because that way I can see all my thread so yep this part here you want to make sure that you get your um, what they call it now you get your your bobbin um, thread together because that way you can you can have a flawless sewing experience because if your bobbin thread is not all the way good honey you are gonna have issues because i've had issues when my bobbin the thread in my bobbin is not right like i always have issues and if it's not a lot of thread there i definitely have issues so all right guys you know that um the second to um ribbon is always pretty place facing up so when i mean pretty place like the shiny place you gotta be the part that is facing up so you want to make sure you align it real good your backward stage and make sure while you're sewing it you're all the way to the to your left you want to make sure you're covering the thread of the ribbon at the bottom so that's what i always look out for make sure you cover make sure your ribbon is covering the thread um on the first ribbon so that's the reason why when i started i told you make sure you when you're sewing your um thread on your you're sewing your ribbon make sure you sew it all the way you get it all the way on your left hand side and when you're doing this second one as well, make sure it's all the way on your left hand side as well. Because um, you want it to be neat and you don't want it to be flabby. So you want to make sure you get it all the way on your left hand side. And you see when you get your first ribbon right, the second and the um, whatever amount of ribbon you have is going to be easy. The more ribbon you have, the easier it becomes so just wanted to let you guys know that um when um when your foundation is right everything will go smoothly so each step is very very important so as you guys see i am doing my mommy duty as i'm sewing i am feeding my child because your girl my baby girl do not like to eat she likes to be on her on her tablet but eating is a problem so I guess it's the same thing with other kids. So, guys, I am always having issues with my ribbons twisting while I'm sewing. Like, it is getting so frustrating that I do not even, I am so irritated with that. So, I look at how twisted it is. It is so, it can waste your time. So, I kind of figured out the best thing to do now. So, on my next video or on the video that that i'm gonna be showing other tutus because i have a lot of tutus coming this year i've not just really had time because of my kids birthdays and after birthday they fell sick so i've not really had time to do a lot of tutu that's why you guys have not been getting a lot of tutu videos but it, it will be coming i know that's what you guys prefer i know that for sure <laughs> so now of course we're gonna use um seal our ends with a lighter so it does not unravel so boom y'all you can see that that is looking really really good i am so happy about this and um now you see this loose ends so when you have a, your you have a ribbon that is not up to the amount of yards you want to make sure you sew that part there i'm trying to focus for you guys make sure you sew that part so it's not fluffing is not coming up because it will be coming up so make sure you sew that part real good and make sure you use the color of the right color of th thread because it's gonna be showing 
so i decide to use it and i decide to use red if i can speak because red of course goes with that red is the main color in this whole thing so i decided to use red so you want to make sure you seal the end um you use your backward stitch that's what i mean i'm sorry and boom you can see that that looks perfect so now it's time for me to get this um band together so so guys i have finally come to the end of this not the end but uh, what i mean is um sewing it making the tutu is just for me to now put my band that's all i have to do and sew the other the two ends and the tutu will be ready then i'll have to make the shirt for it as well so this is so pretty y'all like she is pretty i am so excited oh there's the end okay i found an end so let me show it to you guys come closer can you guys see that that is beautiful so i am gonna go ahead and put my band i always go for 17 inches when it has to do with 40 but for some reason but um my daughter is 40 and she always um i usually go for 17 inches for her but when i measure her waist it was 22 or 20 and um at first i was using that measurement and it was too big for her and i started using 17 and it seemed like it was it's still big for her so i think i'm gonna try a 15 because um the last her birthday when i did um measured for her i did this for her i had to call her aside and tie it up because it was during the birthday and the tutu was literally falling so i had to call her and tie it up so i'm thinking i'm gonna go for 15 inches have this in mind this is stretchy so um when you measure the child make sure that you have this in mind that this is stretchy so you don't want to make it too long you don't want the band to be too long you want it to fit the child so i'm i'm gonna try 15 and see it 15 inches if it's gonna be good for her and if it's not gonna be good for her then i'm gonna have to reduce it and that will apply to other um kids sizes as well and not just for her but i'm gonna she's gonna be my um my model so of course when you have a child you have a chance to use them as your model model so i'm excited about that that i have a baby girl that i can use a beautiful baby girl that i can use as my model i don't have to go pay someone else to use their child i get to use mine so that's a blessing all right i'm gonna go ahead i measured 15 inches long and i'm gonna go ahead you guys know what i always do i always have my pins ready so of course you guys know i always you know get a good pinch on the first one first of all let me just clip this one on my body so i do not lose it that's what i just like to do and the second pin i give it a good pinch give it a good pinch and I'm going to go ahead and run this through the channel that um, I created and you want to use a big pin my pin is not big enough I have to look for a bigger pin but it works so when you're buying go for a bigger pin and uh, make sure you put in the right hole I know I always say that in all my videos but so it's best to always remind you guys that you want to put it in the middle hole otherwise honey you will have to come back again and do it so you guys know i have 12 yards not 10 yards 10 yards is always is the regular size i always regular yards quantity that i always go for but um the fact that um i'm doing it for 40 i like it fluffy because the 
let me tell you this something I noticed the longer the tutu is the less fluffier is gonna be so what I suggest is increase your inches your yards and um, from 40 that's the, the age that I think I'm gonna be making it 12 yards going forward because um, I love my tutu to be really fluffy that's the beauty of a tutu for it to be fluffy rather than for it to just look regular like a regular skirt I like it to be really fluffy so that's the reason why I am doing it um, 12 yards this time anyways like I said this is 12 yards it's gonna take a minute so I'm gonna go off camera finish this up and come back and show you guys the final final um, result all right guys so this is it here see how fluffy this thing is like whoa 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 see this fluff i am so happy about it so now i'm gonna go sew these two ends go sew these two ends and we're gonna see i haven't chosen a shirt design and that's unlike me i always have something ready so, but for this, I do not have no design yet. But of course, you know it's Valentine's, so I'm gonna be having a design that have a heart. So make sure you check out for that video because um, it's gonna be detailed video as well. So do not miss out on that video. Hey, this is the last step. Yay, we are out there. So, whenever you are sewing your band, you want to overlap that. And um, your first step is to sew it regular. If you can go for a zigzag stitch right away, go for it. Um, that means you're a beast. <laughs> and if you cannot get a zigzag stitch right away, you can just sew regular when you overlap it so regular and um, your second stitch so zigzag stitch so you don't have nothing overlapping um nothing sticking out so you want to do a zigzag so as to sew that down so you see what i did i switched it to a zigzag stitch so i can sew it down so and now your girl is done you can see it looks good and now i am gonna go ahead and sew the two loose ends but your girl is tired <laughs> I'm so exhausted. I cannot wait for this tutu to be done. And I just love to make tutu, y'all. I just love it. Can you guys? I don't know if it's everybody that really loves to make tutu. I'm not doing it just for the money. I'm doing it because I love it. I love the fact that when I do something, I see the beauty right away. I don't have to look for somebody's validation. Like, is this beautiful? It's just, like, you just see it right away. So when you're doing, you want to sew your set, your other end, your loose ends. You want to make sure you switch your from your zigzag to your to a regular stitch because honey i was i've had issues you know, times whereby i forget and i like oh zigzag no 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 i go ahead and take it off and um do everything it's 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 not a, a good experience so i just wanted to mention that so when sewing this um and you want to make sure you have your eight piece in your hand because if you don't you will have um two two that have loose ends and you have to cut it cut um the sewn part and redo it again so you want to make sure you have all four all eight um piece in your hand and um when you're done with this make sure you always get your backward stitch very very important so your girl is done as you can see i am recording a tiktok video as well go follow me on tiktok lala creative design hey guys, so this is how the tutu came out you can see how beautiful this thing is like it is so so beautiful i intend using a different shirt for this because it did not come out good and um watch out for that video because it's going to be coming out soon but I just wanted to show you guys how the tutu came out like she is so fluffy again this is 12 yards and um, I love it so much I so much love it so you can put it on the side let me see if putting it on the side is better I'm trying to figure out I see a lot of people putting it in the middle I'm not still okay with that. I prefer the side. 
think it looks better on the side in my opinion so this this is how it's supposed to be on the side if it's on the side so you guys let me know if you prefer the side or the meal I'm not really sure but um there we go so she came out really really good and fluffy this is how your tutu should look like and again this is for 40 I bought the ribbon from Amazon the both ribbons from Amazon and um, the quality of this one at the bottom this one with a heart so we come closer it is really really nice I love the quality this one at the top um, I'm not sure about the quality I'm not sure if it's 100% polyester excuse me because I did a wash test on my daughter's tutu that she had for her birthday and I'm gonna show it to you what I realized that thing was um, coming off this is a tutu actually and the tu the video for this tutu is gonna be coming out very soon I've not had time to um, to edit I I'm the one doing everything so uh, when my channel grow real big, I'm gonna start outsourcing. But look at how it, it uh, look at how it kind of loosened up when it got in water. So I think I'm not gonna do Amazon um, rebounds anymore because of this here. So I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna just be buying from Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby usually have like um, sales going on every other week, I believe so for for the um, they usually have like sales going on every other week for the um for the ribbons so yesterday i actually went to hobby lobby and i bought a lot of ribbons i am like i have a lot of ribbons for tutu so that i don't run out of it i have a lot of tutu that i'm trying to make like a lot and varieties so you guys watch out because those videos are going to be coming up. I am so excited about it. I cannot wait for that um, for me to make the, the video. I am. I have one that I'm making right now and that video will be coming up soon as well. I have a lot of videos that I haven't edited yet. So like this tutu is really the bomb. Let me, is it falling? See this mannequin that I bought from Amazon? I'm not feeling it. It cannot just stand. All right. So, and this is so beautiful. This is so beautiful. You guys, let me know what you think in the comment section. If this came out good, um, all I ask is is a thumb up so that I know it really came out good. And also, giving me a thumb thumbs up will also help other. Um, crafters and potential crafters to find this video and of course it's going to be helpful for them so give your girl a thumb up that's all i ask for and if you have any question do not hesitate ask me whatever question you have because i am willing to share whatever information you need to help your business grow but anyways guys um subscribe if you haven't subscribed and those of you that have subscribed hit your bell notification button so you can know each time i post a video and for those of you that are not subscribed when you subscribe don't forget to hit your bell notification button so you can know when i post a video i post videos twice a week for now we're doing twice a week but anyways guys thank you so much for watching thank you so much for hanging with me i appreciate every one of you guys that are supporting me that is that are helping my business grow i appreciate every one of you so thank you so, and helping my channel grow as well i appreciate everybody i see your comments i see your likes i see everything that helps me that push me to do more for you guys so i appreciate it thank you so much and um happy valentine's day to every one of y'all and i hope to see you guys in my next video peace out Bye.